Welcome back to another video. I'm Hale the Blacksmith, and if you're new to my channel, I make some pretty crazy content. In today's video, we're revisiting an idea I had a year ago. Blindfolded blacksmithing. Definitely something I do not recommend. However, this is attempt number one, and perhaps I might try it again sometime. But that's if you guys enjoy the video, so don't forget to like, subscribe, and leave a comment below for a build you want to see me do, or another crazy idea you have that you'd want to see me try. But as always, thank you for watching, and God bless. Let's get into it. Uh, I want to strongly advise against this. Do not try blacksmithing blindfolded. It is probably a terrible idea. I will find out personally if it is or not, but I can already assume it isn't a great idea. We're just going to get started and see how this goes. I won't be peeking. I will hope you believe me, but I'm not sure if you will or not, but I won't be peeking. I should probably start blindfolded. That, this is going perfectly. This is very tough because I have no idea if the metal's even hot. Alright. So for the first heat, this is what I got. I have no idea what it looks like. I don't even know if I got the metal even hot in the first place. But my main goal is to knock in the corners and draw out a point. We'll see how it goes. Maybe I'll just test where the heat is the hottest. This is Maybe not a great idea. Oh, I don't even know which side I started on. Okay, where am I? Oh, that's off the anvil. Where is my anvil? I guess this is what it feels like to be a beginner again. I just want to touch it and feel what it looks like. I... I say again, do not try this. This is the worst idea possible. Whatever. Uh, yeah. I drew the picture on the whiteboard for you all to see. I'm just going off of my mental image now. And even that isn't going to translate into the metal since I, I don't even know where the metal is. Or even if it's hot. Now where's my hand? Okay. say it has gone the point I don't actually know if it has <sighs> okay I think I'm just gonna risk it and move on to the next step which is notching where the handle is gonna be and then once I've done that I'll have my actual blade length and then I can work from there and finish off the point and do the beveling Yeah, I'm guessing that's about a one inch blade. I'm honestly going to leave it like that and just work with it. <laughs> It'd be funny if the forge was out and I've been just working cold. But I don't think that's the case. I can, I can feel the heat, trust me. Hot. Not hot. I don't know. Second notch, bottom of my hammer. What am I doing? I keep leaning in as if I'll be able to see it the closer I get. Ugh. I'm really hoping it's hot. Oh, that's hot. I can hear it. How much did I burn off, though? Okay. Oh, that's 
hot now. Hopefully this is hot. Okay. Where's my anvil? That was so confusing for a second. I don't even, I don't know what's going on here, but that does not feel right. Oh, I don't know where I am. Okay, we're gonna try beveling the blade. I'm losing my mind. Shoot. Uh, okay, it's on my foot. <sighs> I might call it quits soon, because I think... Or should, like, at this point I'm like, did I lose the shape? Or have I salvaged it? Like, this could look like anything right now. Oh, I'm getting so disoriented. Back into the fire though, we, we push on with heavy hearts and weary minds. Next step, refine the shape. We will flatten out the profile, try and give it a nice little curve, give it a bit of beauty. I don't know if I should try cutting it off with the cutoff hardy, because that just sounds like a terrible idea. But then again, this whole thing has been a terrible idea, and perhaps, and perhaps, I'm gonna try. Okay, but first, let's do another heat. Where are, is this my, oh man. Okay. That's my notch. That's the flat side. At this point, it feels like I don't even have a blade. You probably have noticed tens of thousands of seconds, minutes, hours ago that I probably screwed this all up. But what I'm realizing now is uh, I don't think I have much of a blade on here. I did point that out earlier, but I thought I could maybe draw it out or salvage it in some way, but I think I burnt it all off and there's nothing there. But I think what we're gonna do now is risk it all and reach near the forge with my bare hand to find this, the cutoff hardy. And a lot of people are like, myself included, thinking this is a terrible idea, using a sharp object, blindfolded, with hot fire. It is a bad idea. And I am full of them. With this, I'm going to need to get a lot of heat concentrated at the end of the handle, so I can just snip it off in like three or four blows and be done with this. That might not happen. Maybe it'll look like the knife on the wall. Hey, maybe I'm just a professional blacksmith blindfolded. Okay. Maybe, maybe I cut it enough. Well, at least that's the worst injury, just dropping the hammer and squishing my finger against the anvil. Now it's all tingly, but that is definitely one of the least dangerous things that could have happened today. Oh, I doubt you can see it, but there is a vice right over here. I just hit it. It's right here. Now, if I put it in the vice... I should be able to break it off. Oh, I'm a genius. All right. I broke it off. I don't know if you can see I broke it off there. So we're gonna, okay, that can stay on the ground. We're done hammering. I'm putting the hot piece of metal on the anvil. The knife is in the vise. I'm going to find something to grab it with besides my fingers. Oh, I, oh, that, yeah, it's right there. Okay, I think I grabbed it. Did I did not grab it. Okay, it fell on the ground. 
Okay, so I'm gonna take off the blindfold and find it, if I even can. Wish me luck. Oh, it's so bright. <laughs> no, no, that's, that's the knife. That's what I was hammering. Oh, jeez. Oh, no. I, I disappoint myself to the, to the extreme. If this is what I, this is, this is what I, uh, I don't even want to show the full, like, the full thing. Oh, my. Oh. Oh, my. This right here is what I created. I did it blindfolded. So you, you can't expect much from me but oh my word was that ever challenging i'd say this was a eye-opening experience showing me how uh useful my sight is i am very blessed to have good vision i hope i don't lose it staring at the bright forge all the time but this was a good break just staring into the depths of darkness but yeah there we go the knife I forged blindfolded. Thank you for watching. Consider liking and subscribing if you stayed this long, which I almost hope you didn't, just to save me some dignity. But uh, yeah, thanks for watching. I hope to see you guys soon.